hello friends we are discussing about filter module and in this video i am going to show you one example related to the filter module okay before that i will just give you one idea that how to solve this kind of circuit how to calculate the transfer function that is the output of j omega and by v input of j omega for this kind of circuit where one z1 uh, impedance is there and z2 and z3 are connected in parallel so pretty simple basically what we have to do you have to first take the uh, z2 and z3 as parallel combination and you have to calculate the parallel equivalence that is z2 parallel with z3 and we get this circuit that is v input of j omega and z1 is there which is series with z2 parallel with z3 so uh, from here we can easily get by voltage divider rule we get v output of j omega is equal to z2 parallel with z3 by z1 plus z2 parallel with z3 into v in of j omega so v output of j omega sorry so v output of j omega by v input of j omega is equal to this expression this is the transfer function that is z2 parallel with z3 by z2 plus sorry z1 plus z2 parallel with z3 okay this is the transfer function of this circuit okay this portion now let us apply this concept in one numerical the question is identify the type of the filter of the given circuit here r1 resistance is there here one inductor is connected with it r2 resistance is connected and we are taking output across here and here input voltage is there now we have to analyze the circuit so we will follow the general procedure that is first of all we have to convert the circuit in frequency domain or s domain okay so v input of j omega with it r1 is connected l converts to j omega l and the r2 become remains r2 only and we are taking the output across here so from here uh, as i mentioned in my just previous slide that first of all we will take the r2 parallel with j omega l because we are taking the output across here and output across the parallel combination remains same so if we take the parallel combination equivalence then also the output across that equivalence will also be the output voltage so that's what we can do we can uh, take the equivalence r2 parallel with j omega l and across this point also the output voltage is there no other no other voltage means the output voltage is only present across the parallel combination of r2 and j omega l clear now uh, solve this that is r2 parallel with j omega l means r2 into j omega l by r2 plus j omega l and you will substitute that and we get this circuit okay that is input voltage is here r1 voltage is there and with it this factor is connected this impedance is connected which is r2 j omega l by r2 plus j omega l and we are taking the output voltage okay so we have to analyze this circuit we have to calculate the transfer function here okay pretty simple the transfer function is nothing but sorry for this mark the output of j omega by v input of j omega that is equal to r2 j omega l by r2 plus j omega l by r1 plus r2 j omega l by r2 plus j omega l just we have applied voltage divider rule in this circuit okay voltage divider vd rule in this case okay simplify this and you will get this expression that is v output of j omega by v input of j omega or the transfer function equal to r2 j omega l by r1 r2 plus r1 j omega l plus r2 j omega l clear now to calculate what kind of filter circuit is this we have to put omega equal to 0 and omega equal to infinite so we got the transfer function as r2 j omega l by r1 r2 plus r1 j omega l plus r2 j omega l as you know from our previous slide now what is h of 0 that is when omega equal to 0 substitute the value of omega equal to 0 and you will get h of 0 equal to 0 okay so it is confirmed that it is not a low pass filter or not a band stop filter because h of 0 becomes 0 so obviously it is not a low pass or band pass sorry low pass or band stop it may be a band pass filter or it may be a high pass filter so so that we have to check h of infinite now check h of omega is there that expression so if you put infinite in the upper and lower that is in numerator and denominator if you put omega equal to infinite the expression will come as infinite by infinite so we cannot calculate with this so that what we will do we will switch to l hospital rule that you know from your class 11 limit module okay what is that h of infinite equal to limit omega tends to infinite 
R2 J omega L by R1 R2 plus R1 J omega L plus R2 J omega L. Okay, clearly just now we have to apply L hospital. Just take differentiation and of the upper hand side and you will get R2 J L with respect to omega we are differentiating and for lower side we will get R1 J L plus R2 J L. Take J L common and we get H of infinite as R2 by R1 plus R2. Okay, so that means it is not equal to 0 okay so basically see h of 0 is 0 and h of infinite not equal to 0 that means it is not a band pass filter we had two options when h of 0 is 0 that means either the filter is one band pass filter or otherwise the filter is high pass filter because h of 0 is already 0 so it cannot be low pass or band stop but see here h of infinite is not equal to 0 as it should happen in case of band pass filter because for band pass filter h of infinite is also 0 but so as h of infinite is not equal to 0 so this filter is not a band pass filter this is indeed a high pass filter clear okay this is the general procedure how to solve the numerical but today in this video i will show you another shortcut method see the shortcut is little bit tricky see this circuit this is the main circuit i will switch yes this is the main circuit uh, and it is the question that identify the type of the filter without solving anything how can we calculate that what type of circuit is this okay see if you convert this circuit in frequency domain you will get the inductor value uh, replaced by j omega l and r2 will be r2 only and r1 will be r1 only just inductor will be replaced by j omega l now see when frequency is very less that means suppose for dc case when omega equal to 0 then j omega l is 0 that means this path will be short circuit so what i mean to say when omega equal to 0 the circuit the path is short circuit that means uh, for general uh, uh, can we make this statement general yes we can make this statement general in such a way that when omega is very less then the impedance offered by this path is very small clear so ideally when omega equal to 0 what we can check that it is 0 so that that means this path is basically a short circuit so obviously the v output is 0 and as v output is 0 so v output by v input will also become 0 so that obviously the transfer function value at omega equal to 0 is no doubt that is equal to 0 clear i hope up to this you got the idea how without uh, solving any network theory concept without using any network theory concept just by simple j omega l how can we make that h of 0 equal to 0 clear now see one more thing h of infinite now see when omega increases j omega l the impedance value also increases so with in very high value of omega basically the impedance offered by the j omega l will become very high because this impedance is proportional to omega so when omega is infinite j omega l will also become infinite so what will happen that this path that is this path will become open circuit this will become open circuit here nothing will present so basically we will get a circuit where input voltage is there r1 is connected and r2 is connected with it in series and we are taking the output across r2 so what will be the v output by v input in that case that is a, a transfer function at omega equal to infinite that will be equal to simple r2 by r1 plus r2 clear so basically we can get h of infinite as r2 by r1 plus r2 without any application of uh, voltage divider rule like that okay so simple explanation that is j omega l becomes infinite this part becomes open circuit so this remaining portion we have to consider and that is nothing but a simple series resistance connection of r1 and r2 and we get h of infinite as, as r2 by r1 plus r2 so obviously this is nothing but a high pass filter because h of infinite not equal to 0 and h of 0 equal to 0 clear so in this way also you can analyze a circuit and at a glance you can say that okay this circuit is high pass this circuit is low pass okay so just this funda you keep it in mind that j omega l the impedance becomes short circuit when omega is 
very small or zero and the impedance become open circuit when omega becomes very high or infinite because the impedance offered by the inductor is proportional to the angular frequency omega okay this is all for my this video in my next video i will show you some more concepts thank you for watching